All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy Akeen, and welcome to today's blog. Pick number 13 of this year's NFL draft belongs to the St. Louis Rams. Now, this is their second pick of the first round of this year's draft, and they also have pick number two overall. They're in excellent position for these two picks because there's been a lot of rumors and trade talks coming from St. Louis's territory, and I think they're in excellent position to even pick up future picks of this year's draft or possibly in later drafts. I think they're in, in just a great position, and they've been doing a pretty good job for the past couple of seasons dealing with their selections for this year for our NFL drafts especially with that big trade to Washington in which they had picked up a lot of picks and they picked up some good valuable players this is an upcoming team and that NFC West division that's going to be a competitive division for the next upcoming seasons if the Rams continue to do what they're doing San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks very competitive teams they're playoff caliber teams but they might end up dealing with some competition from the St. Louis Rams I think they're up and coming and I think both of those two teams, Seattle and San Francisco, should be on the lookout. Now, they, they even though there could be some trade rumors, I'm still going to stick with talking about what they they should pick and who they will pick for this year's draft, sticking with the with the resume for each of their selections. Now, I had them going with offensive tackle Greg Robinson out of Auburn with their first pick at number two overall. And in this pick, I think they need to address on the defensive side. Now, I think they have some decent um, cornerbacks in Tremaine Johnson and Janoris Jenkins. I think these two players can work become a good young tandem, good young players, and they do have a young secondary overall, and I do still have a little bit of hope of TJ McDonald, their safety, he's a talented player out of USC, but I still think they should stick with the secondary and go with another safety and Hashim Clinton Dix out of Alabama, he's a spectacular athlete, and he will be a great center fielder for this defense overall, they have a young defense, and they have a lot of great players, Chris Long, Robert Quinn, both those players made Pro Bowls as well as we also have James Laurinaitis, Alec Ogletree. Both of those two players had over 100 tackles. They still have some good players around them. And I think this could be a good stout defense with the addition of Hashim Clinton Dix. Now, I think they should go with them, and I think they will go with them with this selection. So I'm going to have to go with, the, with both of my mock drafts with Hashim Clinton Dix coming out of Alabama. Now, I have a special announcement I need to talk about. I've been reading some latest news, some latest reports headed towards this year's draft, particularly at the quarterback position. And I'm gonna guarantee you tomorrow I need to switch off, but my who I who I think the teams will pick that mock draft. I'm gonna change things up again. I already made my first announcement yesterday, but I'm actually gonna make my second announcement tomorrow. I'm gonna to actually change my who I think they will will select mock draft. Now who I think they should pick, I'm still gonna stick as of today. I'm still gonna stick with my, my particular players and who I think teams should select so far, but who I think teams will select is gonna change because of some of the latest news that I have read at the quarterback position. And I need to talk about Derek Carr out of Fresno State. According to some of the reports that I've been reading in some research, I actually found out that three of the top ten teams of, of picking in this year's draft actually have Derek Carr as the number two overall quarterback headed towards this year's draft. The Cleveland Browns possibly are still doing some research on them, but guaranteed the Minnesota Vikings and the Oakland Raiders. And those, this is going to be very key with these selections. At pick number Number five overall, Oakland might go with Derek Carr, and we all know the Oakland Raiders. They give you some wild card out of the blue picks, especially in, in the NFL draft. Then don't forget about Ray Guy, who just recently made it to the Hall of Fame. I'm very proud of him. They even picked up a lot of crazy players. DJ Hayden, nobody expected him to be go early in the first round of, of, of last season's draft, and I'm really concerned with this pick because they have Derek Carr as a number two quarterback, even though they signed Matt Schaub. I'm a little bit concerned with this one, and even the Minnesota Vikings have been doing a little bit more research, and they even have Derek Carr as the number two quarterback. So I'm definitely going to be changing that who I think the teams will pick um, mock draft tomorrow. I have a couple of changes, and this is going to affect that particular mock draft. And I think this, this learning these, this news, you never know. Um, I learned that you never know what teams are thinking. And even watching the movie Draft Day starring Kevin Costner, it even opened my eyes a, little, a lot more and what GMs think about and selecting players and for their respected teams. And watching that movie, it just really had me learning a lot more things and what teams will end up picking. And after and even reading, doing research on Derek Carr, I'm a little bit, I'm not being too surprised. Even with the Minnesota Vikings, I mentioned the Oakland Raiders having crazy picks. Minnesota's been doing um, a couple interesting picks. Don't forget 
forget about Christian Ponder. Nobody thought he was going to go early in, in, uh, a couple of seasons ago, as well as E.J. Manuel out of the Buffalo Bills. I had him as my number three quarterback coming out of last year's draft. I had Geno Smith and Matt Barkley going ahead of him, but I was shocked when the Buffalo went with E.J. Manuel, and we all see what, what Matt Barkley's doing. He, he, had, he threw four interceptions this past season and zero touchdowns, and Geno Smith's been struggling as a rookie for the New York Jets. And now you've been seeing a little bit more promise coming out of E.J. Manuel, so you never know and what teams are looking for and what they see in particular players. So I'm definitely going to be changing that, who I think they will pick mock draft tomorrow. I'm going to give you an update. I still have some more research to go, but I'm just here to give you that second announcement. I'm going to change things up a little bit. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is tomorrow. I'm going to actually post up two videos to talk about pick number 14 belonging to the Chicago Bears, and my second video will be the change up of who I, who I think teams will select on that particular mock draft. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching today's blog from Pro Football Exclusive. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.